doing? Shouldn't you be rehearsing or something? Please, man, that's what rehearsal is for. Yeah, well, a true artist is always practicing, even when he's not rehearsing. Well, I'm going for that more spontaneous style of approach, you know, like the, the kind that you use with your music. Oh, fuck you, man. What I do comes from in here, baby. Pure creativeness. When you're in the moment, it can just be you and the music. Well, you're saying that acting doesn't offer you that exact same state of being? No. Hell no, man. How could it be nearly as creative or free-flowing when the words are already written on a little page for you? Oh, you're written? What, like your, your music and your lyrics? It's different, man. It's fucking different. All I'm saying is that you could be applying yourself a lot more. You're just like this through school. Well, at least with all my non-challenging, non-creative acting, I can still pay rent. <sighs> Dick. Yeah. Whatever, man. This place might not pay well, but it's not so bad. If only for the fact that the coffee here is so bad that no one comes here and it allows us to hang out like this, then yeah, I guess it's not so bad. Uh, hey, didn't you just have somebody move in with you to help with rent? Yeah, but that's besides the point, man. I'm making fun of you here. Fuck you, always busting my balls about my job. I don't know, man, what can I say? It is my preference. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I gotta lock this shithole up. Mm. And you gotta get to rehearsal. I guess I should go over some of my lines for tonight, huh? You're a piece of work, you know that? You're so vain, bro. Gotta get the money shot, man. <laughs> So, you ready to get out of here or what? Yeah, man, you gonna come get drinks with me later tonight? Maybe. I'll let you know. I just don't feel like going all the way back across the city. What, are you afraid of the big bad city? I hate to interrupt this little lover's tip. Oh, you're in trouble now. You better watch out for this one. She's a moody bitch at the best of times. Dick? I was thinking I'd do something nice for you. What are you even doing here? I thought we were gonna meet at the studio theater. Well, I was seeing if you wanted some company on the way over because I know for a fact you haven't learned your lines for tonight. How could I forget? Michelle, this is Brad, the one I've been telling you about. Brad, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. Funny, I haven't seen you around. Oh, that's because Michelle here is quite the dancer and she just got back from a stint on the East Coast. Wow. Congratulations, that's amazing. Welcome back to the West Side. Thank you. Hey, we're getting a drink after rehearsal. You should come. Uh, Brad here is uh, not one for staying in the city. He finds it too much of a hindrance. I'll come. You will? Yeah, I'll come. What? I've been trying to get him to come out for like the longest time. Hey. See, that's why they call me the closer. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. I'll go for a walk and uh, I'll you catch up with your you guys. Walks, what? What? <laughs> So I'll just meet you at the cedar then, shall I? Sounds good. See you tonight. I look forward to it. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye, boo. <laughs> I thought you meant the other door. Why would it be the other door? When is it ever the other door? It's always the other door. You're always going in the wrong door. That's, <laughs> that's your problem. You're always going uh, in the wrong door. I'm pretty sure we work here. And you Brad? Uh, I'm a musician. Emil and I went to school together. He chose theater and I chose music. So you guys go back a little ways then? Oh yeah. Long way. Um, since high school. Yeah. We grew up together. So you know each other pretty well then. You could say that. Take this for example. Emil? You already know I seen that ass as soon as we walked in here, so <laughs> excuse me for a minute. Good luck. So 
So, um, what's it like growing up with a gay best friend? Uh, it's interesting to say the least. How so? Give me some dirt on him. Well, uh, he might not look like it, but the guy can throw down. Back in high school, we just met in drama class, and uh, we we're leaving class one day, and you know how teenagers are, they can be real fucking douchebags. And out of nowhere, uh, this one kid just throws this huge king hit punch, and Neil just snaps, and well, needless to say, they uh, left him alone after that. <laughs> how hardcore could it really have been, though? Have you seen how much blood comes from a broken nose? He had to wear a cast on his wrist for a month. He hit him that hard. So are you just a struggling musician or do you have another job? Oh, I make a mean cup of coffee. I see. Are you also a coffee making musician who plays pool? Oh, I've been known to be a bit of a shark. You? are about to witness history. Watch this. Oh. So, you know about me. Tell me a bit about yourself. How do you know Emil? He didn't tell you? I'm the flashy new roomie. <laughs> ah, so you're the one. Yep, sure am. I needed a place when I got back. It happened by chance, but I'm thankful it did. The city's really tight. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm barely surviving where I am. Yeah, Emil mentioned that. And you're all the way out in wherever that. <laughs> <laughs> Does he tell you everything? Occupational hazard. We spend a lot of time together. He speaks really highly of you. I'm surprised you see him as much as you do. When I see him, he's usually like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great. Kind of gives you a buzz. <laughs> I, uh, I guess we're getting on my way. You're not gonna wait for a meal? No, that kid's gonna be late. I gotta be somewhere. So. It was really nice to meet you, Brad. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey Brad, where's Michelle? Yo. What? I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm heading out. Where's Michelle at? She had somewhere she had to be. Oh, what? Man. Don't fucking look at me like that. I didn't say anything. We didn't have to say anything, man. I know what you're thinking. Fuck off. Get out of here. I'll call you tomorrow. Alright. I mean, you like her, don't you? Her? I'm uh, Michelle. Who? Bitch, don't even <laughs> fucking pretend, man. Come on. Grab your date. I'll give you a ride. All right. Hey. Yeah? I can be safe, okay? I'm always safe, man. Come on, dude.
Hey, bro. Hey, bro, what are you doing? Uh, just trying to figure my next move. Why? What happened? Everything okay? Nah, man, not really. Uh, got evicted from my apartment. Fuck. Yeah, my words exactly. Spent last night in my truck. Shit, man, what are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. I have an easy fix. Why don't you come stay at my place for as long as you need? Are you sure? You seem to have things pretty well sorted, man. I don't want to pose. Are you kidding? I'm not about to let you live in your car. It would be like old times. Thanks. Okay. I'll see you soon then. We can have some breakfast, because I need it after that session last night, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'll see you soon. So there's a nice space in the living room you can use to sleep. You have no idea how grateful I am for this, man. Yeah, man, anything you need. It's kind of depressing though, isn't it? I mean, you'd think I have more to my name than this. That's not so bad. I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> and how about that breakfast? That sounds good. That sounds really good, actually. You want some sugar or something, man? <sighs> no, man, just black. Where's the new roomie, Michelle? Uh, she still hasn't surfaced from last night. She was nice. Not a bad sort at all. Something you should know about her. <laughs> she has a boyfriend, doesn't she? Not exactly. You don't gotta worry, man. I'm not about to shit where I sleep. Do I hear company? Brad? It's good to see you. Hi. Uh, Brad here will be the newest of new house guests. Really? How exciting. What happened? Oh, poor sucker got evicted. Oh, you dick! But you were just gonna say the exact same thing yourself. Shit. Buddy, I'm sorry that I know what that feels like. Yeah, it turns out missing your rent a few times isn't taken so lightly. Well, yeah, I mean, that will happen when you choose music over other arts. Really? You too? Am I gonna be double teamed the whole time I'm here? I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. It's just, <laughs> it came up after rehearsals yesterday. I'm sorry, I'm just, we're just trying to make light of a really shitty situation. Thanks, I think. <laughs> uh, I want to stay and chat, but I have to go to work, so... Mm, no, you work way too hard. You make me look bad. <laughs> God, you have no problem doing that yourself. <laughs> Brad, um, I'm working on a routine. You and Emil should come by and watch. I could use your opinion. Yeah. Yes, sounds good. I'll be there. Cool. Okay. Behave yourself, boys. See you later tonight. What? This coffee's shit, by the way. You made it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. This is shit. <laughs> oh, hold up. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'll be in in a minute. I'm just gonna hit the washroom real quick. Didn't you go before we left? Who said I was going for that, man? Hey. Hey. Thanks for coming. I really need a fresh set of eyes on this routine. No problem. Where's Emil going? He had to use the little boy's room. Say no more. 
And I wish he was as committed to his training as you are. Yeah, I'm surprised we all went to the same school. What? You went to the same performing arts school as we did? Yeah, he didn't tell you that? No. How crazy. How is it that we never saw each other on campus? You were music, right? I was dance. And I'm pretty sure there were other graduating classes outside of yours. Of course. By my calculations, you would have been final year when I was first starting. Well, that would explain it. He's a very talented performer, but he sometimes strays with the lifestyle. Yeah, this is true. But you'll never stop him from what he wants. And you? I hear you're quite the musician, though it's still yet to be seen. I have a little jam space downtown that we play at every once in a while. But with work and the latest turn of events, it's been kind of difficult to get back down there. That sucks. Maybe I can hear you play sometime. I'm sure you'll hear me playing at least once. I'd like that. I love music that moves me. Speaking of, I should get started. Yeah, I, uh, I won't get in your way. I'll be keeping an eye on you. That girl's good, man. Yeah, man. What she doing working here with you? Excuse me if I forget to laugh, okay? But this right here, this is what we call paid work. Hey, fuck you, I work. <laughs> that little cafe doesn't count, man. Earning with your dreams, that's what counts. Yeah, well, I'm working on it, okay? I just had a little hiccup. I'm sure you'll get there, man. But enough of this, though. Let's grab Michelle and get drunk. <laughs> Look at this guy, thinking he's royalty. You're damn right, man. You have no idea. Has he always been like this? Oh my god, yeah. He's always showing off for somebody. Yeah, right now, I'm peacocking for this one over here. Don't stare too much, Brad. It's rude. It's, uh, it's just a little foreign to me. What are you talking about, man? You were just talking about how much of an old hand you are at this. Is there something you're not telling us? No, that's, that's not what I said. It's an adjustment. Relax, man. I'm just busting your balls. Yeah, he's just getting used to the kind of behavior you'll be seeing from us. Yeah. I wonder what that was about. I think I know. Um, if you haven't pieced it together already, just, just be ready. Guys, this is Lisa. It's an old friend of mine. Um, Lisa, hi. How are you? That's right, you, you guys know each other already. It's um, been a long time. I wasn't expecting to see you out tonight. I couldn't resist after hearing you're back in town. Before we continue, it looks like we need more booze. Does your shy friend want a beer as well? No, I'm good, thanks. So, uh, who fucks who in that relationship? What? I mean, I'm allowed to ask and, and welcome back, by the way. I'm sorry, you can say some stupid shit sometimes. It's okay, Brad. I'm used to it. For your information, Emil, um, it's been a while, but tonight she will be doing all the work. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, I kind of get that vibe from her. Um, just remember, though, we do have a straight man in the house now, so you'll just have to keep it down a little bit, you know? Don't be an idiot. I don't know how many times I have to apologize for this guy. Really, it's okay, Brad. It's... I mean, I've dealt with a lot worse. 
You won't see me till the morning. All right. Just remember also that the house isn't wheelchair friendly. <laughs> yeah, well, you should remember that too. Touche. You're a dick. I'm out of here. What? It's true. I thought I heard we had a musician living with us. Yeah, I heard something like that too. Do you mind if I sit? No, not at all. Last night got a little weird for you, eh? No, I, uh... Actually, I just wasn't feeling that well. I'm gonna call you out and say bullshit. Yeah, it got a little weird. I get that. I mean, maybe it's just a sign of my own ignorance, but I wasn't really expecting to find myself in that sort of situation. You know, I like you, Brad. And I just, I want you to feel comfortable with all this. It's important to me that you don't feel alienated at all. I appreciate that, thank you, thank you. What is it about girls? I mean, when did you know? Not that you have any control of who you're attracted to, I'm just curious. That's exactly it. I don't have control of who I'm attracted to. Has it always been women? I've only ever had serious relationships with women. And that girl from last night, Lisa? Yeah, she was one of them. I didn't see her for over a year. Didn't really expect to see her again. Are you glad you did? Okay. The intimacy of being with someone is sometimes the hardest part to let go of. Intimacy. Yeah. There's different types of intimacy. Like us right now, this is very intimate. It's good, I like it. It's hard to find that with someone you just met. But with her, it's obviously of a different variety. 
Well, yeah, I mean, the fucking has always been amazing with her. Uh, you okay? Uh, <laughs> I, was, I wasn't expecting you to say that. Well, wasn't expecting a gay girl to talk about sex? It's men, I don't know, I don't know what standard practices, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I am allowed to talk to men, Brad. But all that really matters is that you feel like you can talk to me about anything. Thank you for being so open. You really haven't heard the least of it. I'm in for a trip, am I? Strap yourself in, mister. <laughs> <laughs> hey, show me where you work. Mm. Yeah, I want, I want one of your special coffees. Oh, they're terrible, I, trust I me. I heard they're great. They're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's terrible. <laughs> I oh. tried to warn you. <laughs> I don't want to come off sounding like a pervert or a complete ass. Whoa, okay. No, I... I want us to be friends, okay? <laughs> that's like a really good thing for me to be able to say. And it's... Normally, guys fall into this, like, predetermined stereotype because of the way I look, I guess. What? Like, because you don't look like a typical gay woman that you're not? Yeah. But you seem different. You didn't see it that way, did you? To be honest, I didn't really know what to think. That's okay. I mean, how is anyone to know who's gay or not just by looking at them? It's fair. It's like, if you have a question, just ask it. What's it like living with a gay man? <laughs> what? You said that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of fun. It's not exactly what I expected, but... When is anything what you expect? Right? And just before you ask, mm -hmm. we do walk around in the nude. Or at least I, I did before you moved in. <laughs> okay, I have to go to rehearsal. You want to walk me? Just give me a minute. <laughs> Okay, it's not like you've never seen it before, buddy. Come on. No, seriously. Okay, take your time. <laughs> I'll just wait here. <laughs> Finally going over your lines, I see. Ah, dude. Yes, I am. Where have you been? Work. Michelle wanted to try that famous coffee. Did you tell her how bad it was? <laughs> sure did. And she still wants to hang out with you? Yeah, well, we all live under the same roof, so there's no avoiding it. I take it you guys spoke about last night? We did, yeah. And uh, thank you for the heads up, by the way, asshole. <laughs> well, I mean, I tried to warn you, and I thought you would have known. Yeah, well, I do now, so, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I fucking stink, so, uh, I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay, get out of here. Oh, God, dude, did you just take a shit? Yeah. Hey, hi, yeah, how's it going? Yeah. What? Oh. 
you serious? So, so wait, no, like, you? <laughs> no, 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 I will, I will. Yeah, no, thank you, no, thank you for the call. Is everything all right, man? Yeah. Just <laughs> got an unexpected call. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. No, it's, I, got, I have some things I need to take care of. Who is that on the phone? Your scene partner? No, it was just, just an old friend. No one that you really know. Hey, I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't really made any mistakes, but I'm, I'm always careful. Yeah, you've always been smart with your choices, as far as I've seen. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, no, everything, everything's fine. Everything's fine. That was so good. Please, it's terrible at the moment. Oh, come on, you're modest. It's just rehearsal. Thank you. I'll get it, I just need some time in. Thank you. Did Emil come with you? No, uh, he was acting out of sorts. I think something was up, but he didn't say what. That's strange, he's usually so forthcoming. Yeah, it caught me off guard. I, I didn't know what to say. I'm sure it'll come around. Yeah. Sure. Well, I guess it means it's just you and me then. And it looks that way. Lucky for you, we still have a lot to learn about each other. That we do. That we do. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go for that ride? Let's do it. thought of something like incredibly fun to do. What? Let's write a song together. Let's like <laughs> let you write a song. Okay, you just give me any sort of subject matter. Give me the give me the uh, <laughs> well, settle down. Uh, <laughs> just the opening the opening line. S sitting on a stoop. <laughs> no one's editing this. Like, no, I mean that was I thought about doing a song about stoops at one point, but it never
you look. Didn't even spill. What are you doing? Help me. Get it done. Help. Hey. Still trying to get the whole actor thing down? Not in the mood, Brad. Uh, fuck. Now I gotta start all over again. <laughs> it's okay, man. Just relax. No, it's not. What's going on? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. There's nothing going on. <laughs> you're good at a lot of things, Emil, but hiding how you're feeling isn't one of them. It's nothing. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this fucking bullshit. Okay? This fucking bullshit script. Jesus. Remember when you used to tell me everything? Even the shit I didn't want to hear? Don't you have somewhere to be? Like hanging out with your pseudo girlfriend? Hey man, be careful with that. That's not what I'm talking about here. Besides, she's your friend as well. You know what, man? Maybe that's exactly what I want to talk about. Okay. Tell me what's going on. Maybe if you talk your shit out, you can figure out what's eating you. What's up with you and Michelle, man? I mean, it's like every time I see you, you're off with her somewhere, like it's some special thing you two got going on. Really? That's how you see it? Because we all live together, remember that? What makes you so special? You know you have no shot, right? What makes you think you have a chance with her? I like her, yes, but it's not like that. What the fuck is it? I don't know, Emil. It's two friends hanging out, having a good time. What's the problem? When in the history of the universe has a guy hanging out with a girl ever been just that? You know what? Don't fucking push it. Really? You wanted to talk and now you're afraid when I push the issue? Because that's not the issue. Trust me, Brad, this is a huge part of the fucking issue. Yeah, well, I don't understand why, so tell me, what's your problem? My problem is this, Brad. What makes her so important? Am I not allowed to enjoy the company of people I live with? Should that not apply to everyone equally? Is that what this is about? No, Brad, what this is about is why do you bother wasting your fucking time? Nothing's gonna happen. There's a whole laundry list of factors that you don't seem to see or understand. What exactly is it that I don't understand? Please fucking enlighten me, Emil, because you're on a roll now. Okay, okay, one. You live with the girl, that in itself should be enough of a deterrent. When has it ever been a good idea to follow the incestuous path of the housemate? Two, isn't she in a relationship already? I mean, I know what your moral codes are, but dude, man, you should know better than to fucking chase after someone that you shouldn't have. Okay, and three, this, I don't know how you look past this, man. I don't, I don't know how you can't see this, dude. She's fucking gay, dude. She's fucking Fuck gay, man. You, man, you're a fucking asshole, you know that? That's it right there. That's the big one right there that you can't handle, isn't it? You've always been a stubborn bastard, man, going after shit that you can't have. You know what, Emil? I think you need to let this one go. Why? It's because I'm right, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna help you figure this one out, though. I'm gonna shake my magic eight ball. Hmm. Will Brad ever get to be more than just friends with Michelle? Fuck you, man. Don't be a dick. You don't like that one? How about this one, man? How about this one? Will Brad ever get to fuck Michelle? You know what? Fuck off, man. I'm trying to help you and then you ambush me with this? You wanted to know what the problem was? Here it is, man. What is it about this bitch that makes her more important than your best fucking friend? Because <laughs> I'm fucking in love with her. Are you happy? Does that make you feel better? Fuck you, man. I'm out of here. I'm, f I'm fucking scared. Are you in trouble? I might be. It's not in the way that you think. What are you talking about? 
something, something's happened. And I just, I needed someone. But there's been no one. It was a phone call the other day. I could be really fucking sick. And I'm too scared to find out. Shh. Come on, I'll take you to the clinic. Come in with you if you want. No, no. Thank you. I'm good though. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll be waiting out here. So you had a scare too? When was yours? University. <laughs> I was just a dumb, overly excited first year. Took the word of some girl who said she was on the pill. Decided I didn't need to worry about wearing a condom. Sounds familiar. I was the opposite though. I insisted we use one. Oh, Brad, when sharing toys, it's always a good idea to keep them clean and or use a condom. I didn't know that. <laughs> really? You have no idea? Maybe a little? Yeah, thought so. I guess we didn't listen to ourselves or our friends enough. Mm -hmm. We both ended up back here. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, this really calms the nerves. Yeah, when do you get your uh, blood test results back? Oh, fuck, man. I was talking about rehearsals tonight. Oh. God, you'll be fine. That's why they call it rehearsal. That reminds me. How did your rehearsal go this morning? Um, it went well. You know that routine I was working on before? Yeah. It was a full run through that. How'd it go? Did you make it all the way through? Could have been better. No. Trust me, man. This bitch nailed it. <laughs> Modesty might be your thing, but I see right through you, boo boo. <laughs> Dick. Seriously, though. When do you get your test results back? Mm. Docs is two weeks. And they only call if there's actually something wrong, so if I don't hear back, then I'm all clear. Here's to no phone call. Thanks, man. Then we got the time. Yeah. Five o'clock. What? Five o'clock? Yeah, five o'clock. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. You've... I'm too fucking high for this shit, okay. man. I can't. You'll be fine. You have time. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> I gotta meet somebody. <laughs> <laughs> The song is really beautiful. What's it called? Uh, doesn't have a name yet. Work in progress. Don't have a name? How do you have a song with no name? <laughs> what? 
easy, the same way you have a dance with no music. I mean, sometimes the music comes first, then the lyrics, or vice versa. Hmm. I get that. Well, when the words do come in the name, I'm sure it'll all sound as beautiful as it does now. Well, thank you. I hope that's the case. I'm just waiting for that perfect moment. That defining moment when everything explodes in your mind creatively? Like a fucking Vin Diesel action movie, you know? <laughs> just boom. Yeah, so I'm hoping that's how it goes. So when do you think things will begin to align themselves for you? I don't know. Uh, when I have something more personal to say. <sighs> the eternal cry of the tortured art. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. I'm working towards something, and I know you're exactly the same way with your quest for perfection. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Dear. You know, you should write some music that I could dance to. You really think you could dance to something I write? I do. I think mean, rock and roll is sexy. It's passionate. Perfect to dance to. Okay, well, uh, I can see what I can come up with, but I'm not gonna promise you anything. It would be my gift to you. <laughs> what? What would be? To dance something special just for you. Wouldn't that be breaking the <laughs> rules? What rules are you referring to exactly? I don't know, the ones where you alienate the girl-girl community by doing something of affection for a man? The thing is, uh, I make my own rules. Oh. I got a rule for you. Why are we doing this? Doing what? This. This right here, whatever this is. I should probably let you know a few things. About what? <laughs> I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Why? To take what? I think... <laughs> I'm in love with you. I don't understand. It's pretty simple. Um, I haven't felt like this about anybody in a really long time. And it's causing me a lot of anxiety and confusion. But um, the more time that we spend together, the harder it is to ignore the fact that you make me feel something. And I can't keep lying to myself by not saying anything. I love you. Forgetting a few facts that kind of stand in the way? I know that you felt it too. I... I see the way that you look at me. It's this... <sighs> that first day that you looked at me is the same way you've always looked at me. I don't even, I don't know if you're bullshitting me or not. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. I want you to say what you feel. 
what I feel? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I need to know if you feel the same way or if I'm losing my fucking mind. What I feel is, it's crazy, I mean, I mean, this whole fucking thing is crazy. I mean, what world would this actually work? I've been going out of my mind thinking the same thing, but I, I just keep coming back to, fuck it. Just don't fucking ignore this. But look at the situation. I mean, even if this was to go a certain way, I mean, I, I don't know how to approach it. I mean, how do we approach it? I'm not sure, but I just, I, I can't take this much more. You can't take it much more? Holy fuck, do you know how hard this has been for me? What the fuck am I saying? This is, this is ridiculous. I mean, aren't we forgetting a few key issues? We don't need to think about them. They're, they're not that big of a deal. What big of a deal? Last time I checked, Michelle, being in a, a, another relationship is a big fucking deal. I've been down that path before. It never ends well for anyone. That relationship is not a part of who I am anymore, and, that, and I've made that very clear to her. That's another thing, isn't it? Another big bump in the road. I mean, you're gay. Being attracted to women is not going to change how I feel about this. It doesn't change anything. I just... and my head are going to hate me for this later, but this is not something that we should do. You don't think that I've spent forever battling with my own thoughts, trying to convince myself over and over again that whatever I'm feeling is just misplaced affection, but it's not. It's what I'm saying is exactly what I feel. Oh, trust me. This we're setting ourselves up for real damage, and I don't think there'll be any coming back. I want to take that risk. No. I want to feel something positive again. I don't, I don't want to feel hollow inside anymore. I am so used to nothing ever going right in my life, and this is just something that I finally accepted. Is this you shutting me down? What the fuck? Shit. That was not good. No.
You know, never understood the appeal of a cigarette in the morning. Oh, yeah? Now I feel I know exactly the reason. And what's that? Helps calm all the shit of the day before it even happens. Or as you come face to face with it, first thing. Where'd you get the smokes? Picked them up for Michelle. That was my comforter you were fucking on. I'm sorry. We weren't expecting you to be home so early. Guess you proved me wrong though, huh? Come on. It's not like that. Things were building up and they just boiled over last night. Well, so what, you think? You think things are just gonna stay like this? She felt the same way I did. I'm hoping so. You don't have to worry. I'm prepared. I just, I don't want you to get hurt or for this to get in the way of our friendship. She's not gonna get in the way of what you and I have. My magic eight ball is having another prediction. And this one I know will happen. You're my best friend, Emil. Michelle's not gonna get in the way of that. I just think you're a little over your head with this girl. I know the obvious. And I'm in new waters, but so is she. I, just, I know you, man, okay? You just, you're so quick to fall in love and you fall hard. Sometimes that's not enough. This time it's different. We figured we'd never know unless we tried. Somehow I doubt that. I should have told you how I felt. We didn't mean for you to find out this way. Not the easiest thing to come home to. You just don't expect to find your best friend and your gay roommate lying naked on the floor. I regret the use of the floor. I have some wicked rug burn. <laughs> I just don't want this to end badly for anyone. It won't. about just trying to figure out how all this happened well you played me that beautiful song and then we fucked on the floor <laughs> not exactly what I meant honestly I can't answer that I really don't know the thing is I don't need to know. I'm really just as confused as you are. But I'm okay with that. Because this feels fucking right. I'm still curious though, because you were with women and now men. I mean, what's it like going from... Vagina to a penis? Uh, yeah. No offense, but uh, it actually has nothing to do with you being a guy. 
It's not as if all of a sudden I wanted to be with a man. Then my relationships with women weren't real. They're very real. Amazing. Tense. Some heartbreaking. But that was then. This is now. With you. I knew I wanted you in my life in some way, but I didn't think I'd ever get the chance to. You're very different from a lot of the straight guys I've met before. Not one of them has ever accepted me the, as quickly as you did. In fact, some of them took it as some sort of challenge and expected that if they put in enough time they get me into a threesome or some shit like I was a living porn fantasy you made me realize that I don't want to limit myself I just want to be with someone who I can connect with I just can't believe that you came from a meal. Of all people. I know he puts on a brave face, but I can tell that he's worried that this is gonna ruin his and I friendship. But I can't see myself wanting or needing to be with anybody else. We really should clean this place up before Emil gets back. How about we mess it up even more? Oh, it's like that? Hey, Lisa. Michelle's not here right now. She won't be here until later tonight. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to hear me say that. It's just a little bit. She didn't come over again. Oh, OK. Well, it's, it's not an issue. Um, I guess that doesn't really sound like her, though. W when was the last time you saw her? She's been at MIA. She won't return any of my calls. She hasn't spent the night in forever. And I got a phone call from the hospital this morning saying she missed an appointment. Oh. Well, this isn't really any of my business, but is, is everything OK? I have no idea. That's why I wanted to talk to her. I'm sorry. I hope you understand. No, yeah, totally. I mean, I'm just I'm surprised that she hasn't mentioned anything to me. Why, why did the hospital call you? I must have been the alternative contact. Right, that, that makes sense. Still strange that this happened, though. I have a feeling I know what it's about. Do you know anything at all? I mean, only what I've been told, which is pretty much anything since she's been back from the East Coast. Has she been hanging out with that other guy friend of yours? If you can say that. Oh, I fucking knew it. She's fucking around, isn't she? Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, fucking bitch. Man, you're just gonna sit there? What's up? Have you had any interesting conversations with Michelle recently? Uh, no, why? What do you mean by interesting? Just anything out of the ordinary? 
you're gonna have to be a little more specific, man. Our, uh, our entire relationship has been a little out of the ordinary. So you guys are good then? You wanna tell me what you're getting at? Did Michelle ever talk about anything that happened before she went away east? Just that uh, she was in a relationship of sorts with Lisa, but that's really all. Did she ever talk about the kind of stuff they used to get into? Is there something you want to say? Well, I had a little conversation with Lisa at rehearsal the other day. She came by the theater looking for Michelle. Strange, she must have been with me then. Why, what was she after? Hmm, I don't know if I should say anything or not. Why not, man? What's going on? Does the name Kyle sound familiar? Fuck you. I'm serious. This is a serious question. No, man, I haven't. Not at all. I never heard the name. So maybe you should ask her about it. Why the fuck would I ask her about something like that? Well, I think you'd like to know that your gay girlfriend used to fuck around with other guys. Sounds like a lie to me, Emil. I'd say Lisa has it on pretty good authority, the kind of shit they used to do together. You know what? I'm getting really tired of your shit. I'm just looking out for you, man, okay? I'm just trying to be a good friend here. And please, tell me, how, how, how is telling me that my gay girlfriend used to fuck other guys helping me? As much as I love the girl, she could be damaged goods. Oh my god, Emil, I don't need to hear this, okay? I don't need you in my head. That's exactly where I need to be. This isn't the perfect little relationship you thought it would be. That's just it, isn't it, okay? I didn't, I didn't know what this was gonna be. And now you're telling me this shit and you're fucking it up. You're far too naive for this girl, man. I don't think you'll be able to have what you want. Why? Because she has a past that may or may not be true. Well, it could be true. You're willing to take that risk? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay, and I'm not about to listen to what some jealous fucking ex has to say. If you get that phone call somewhere down the line like I did, are you gonna be ready for that too? Dude, why? Why would you even say something like that? Because the guy used to unload in both of them all the time. Fuck you. That's my girlfriend you're talking about, not to mention one of your best friends. I'm sorry, okay? It's just, life isn't so easy right now. I'm trying to make it easier for one of us. You're not doing a very good job. Would you just trust me on this one, okay? I got a pretty good bullshit detector. I'm not picking anything up on this. What do you think I should do then, huh? It's difficult enough already. Give me a fucking answer. Just think about it, okay? You already know enough about her adventure side. You add on the fact that now she's with you and history points to girls being the chosen gender. Could it really be that hard to believe? Maybe, maybe I don't want to believe it. Maybe I want to see her the way I see her. Brad, this is something you need to think about, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna eat you up inside. And then where will you end up? Huh? Where are you going? That shit I need to figure out. Sounds more beautiful every time I hear it. Is everything all right? You look like something's troubling you. I'm okay. Something came up today. What is it? Want to talk about it? If you just fill me in and I could probably help you out with this. I mean, I've heard all the stories. They usually come from some jealous guy or... It came from a meal. Okay. Um, 
And what did Emil say that is causing you to shut down like this? He was reiterating something he had heard. Great, so it's coming third hand. So it's really not anything you need to worry about. It's come way too far down the grapevine. It came from Lisa. She showed up at the theater looking for you and found Emil. Does the name Kyle mean anything to you? Yes. But not in the way that you think. I didn't want to believe it. What about all that stuff you said about love and connection? It's all true. It's what I feel. And the business with Kyle, did you feed him the same lines? No. He was a mistake, someone I never should have let into my life. Then why did you? Because I thought that I loved Lisa, and I thought that I needed to make her happy. And that was enough to make you want to be with another man? Please. Please what? Because that was from my old life, something I never thought would come up again to, to affect you and I. It has, Michelle. There's more to it than what you've heard. You know what? You don't have to tell me. Okay, I get it. Maybe we're just two different people. Do you really want to know what of happened? Of course I want to know what happened. Help me understand, because right now I'm having a real fucking hard time with it. When I was fucking around with Lisa, she liked to explore with multiple partners. I wasn't into it, okay? But after a while and after I thought that I was in love with her, I, I forced myself to open up to the idea of bringing in other girls. But she had another plan. She brought in a guy. I didn't know him and I didn't trust him, but I trusted her, and which was stupid, but I was at my lowest point and I just, I started doing shit and I, just, I was losing control and I just thought if I could get someone to love me that it would make it all worth it and I don't know, for some fucking reason, I thought I owed it to her. I just don't understand how you've never told me any of this before. Because being fucked by a man while the woman you love watches and gets herself off is not the sort of thing I wanted to share. So you just let them use you? When you're living in that kind of... When you live in that kind of darkness for that long and you feel like nobody cares, you tend not to care about yourself, so you fuck back because that's really all you have left. Yeah, I knew it. What the fuck is wrong with you? How do you do something like that? I was fucking numb and I just wanted to feel something. I get that was a bad decision, but have you never done anything that you regret in your life? The fuck? How do you want me to feel about this? I want you to feel exactly the same way because nothing has changed. I don't know if I can, no. You mean to tell me that something that I did when I was so fucking low, and it means absolutely nothing for you and I, that, that you're gonna let that affect how you feel about me? I don't know if I can put that aside. Why? Why the fuck not? You're the one that pulled me out of that, you know? You were what was missing. I guess... I just wanted us to be something that we'll never be. And what is that? You know what? Fuck it. I can't. I can't. Brad, wait. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fucking believe it, man. You were right. What happened? 
Nothing, okay? It's just... It's a little too much for me to deal with right now. I can't stay here. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? You know, this entire fucking thing is your fault. I never should have listened to you. I just, I just figured it was something I needed to know. Why the fuck would I need to know something like that? I didn't want you to get hurt. Really? You didn't want me to get hurt? That's your answer? Yeah. Well, how the fuck do you think I feel now? Everything hurts. No, dude, trust me, okay? You're better off. <sighs> better off? How? Alone? Hurting? Uh, confused? Angry? What? You're not alone. I'm, I'm here for you. I got you. Neil, don't test me. Okay, I'm hard pressed right now not to find a reason to physically show you that you fucked up. I fucked up? Yeah, I fucked up. You just passed on some information about Michelle. You didn't have to, Emil. I was happy. Michelle was happy. I wasn't. And so your solution is to make everybody feel as shitty as you. I just wanted you to know. You're the one that went to her with it. You knew I'd go to her with it. Didn't you? Not once did I ever care about anyone's past. All I ever thought about was how good I felt when I was with her. You should have been smarter with your choices. I can't stay here. You can't go. We need you here. I need you here. Listen, Emil, not when we all live under one roof. So just hold on. No, oh, they got nothing here for me, okay? I need you to stay. Why? Just tell me. The fuck? You wanted to know why? There you go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? What the fuck? You're not making this easier on anyone. I just... I couldn't let you go without you knowing. Why now? You should know better than anyone. What it's like, not being able to have someone. It doesn't give you the permission to do that. I don't know how else to make you see. See what? That you feel like this? You know, how long? It doesn't matter. I just... I need you to know that you can't break apart what we have. You can't. I can't stay here.
Hey, Brad. Uh, it's been a while. I was hoping to catch you. You're probably at rehearsal or something, playing whatever kind of music you play. Um, anyway, I've got to be at the clinic again today. I was hoping maybe you could meet me there. Um, I'll be there around 3 o'clock. Hopefully I see you then. Um, it'll be really good to see you. Okay, bye. Didn't think you'd show up. Promised a friend I'd be there for him no matter what. Glad you came. I really just needed a ride home. You're such a dick. <laughs> Only when you're around. So? How is everything? Everything's good. Yeah. Test came back negative. Good. I said, I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I just wasn't sure how much time you needed. You should have told me. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. So why are you here now? Um, just for my own peace of mind, you know. And I met someone. You're kidding. Doing it right this time. You were right before. That's what you said. It's fantastic, man. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. Um, in case you're wondering, Michelle's performing tonight. I'll be going, bringing the new guy as well. How is she? She's good. She's good, man. Think you want to come tonight? It would mean a lot if you came. <laughs> I'll think about it. Well, while you think about it, do you think you could uh, drop me off somewhere first? Sure thing. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Get the fuck in the car. All right. Driving this beat around. How the hell did you meet anybody? <laughs> I got a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Michelle. Hi, Brad. 
How are you? Good. Sorry to interrupt. I, uh, I wanted to catch you before you left. It's really good to see you. I didn't know if I'd ever get the chance to again. It's really good to see you too. You look amazing. Thanks. I uh, spent a lot of time getting ready, <laughs> hoping that maybe someone special would come tonight. Well, you were incredible. I wouldn't miss this. It's a little old-fashioned, but, uh... Thought you might like it. What is it? Something I recorded. It's a little different than anything I've ever done before. Will I like it? Maybe. It's about someone I know who changed me. I never had the strength to tell her how... how much I cared for her. And that her past didn't matter. All that mattered is that she loved me for me. And I loved her for her. So I wrote it. I hope you find yourself being able to listen to it. I will. I look forward to it. Maybe I'll call you sometime and you can tell me what you think, if you're free. I'd like that. I missed you. Missed you too. I'm sorry that I just left and I never called. It's okay now. Music should be able to say what I can't seem to find the words to say right now. <laughs> now I won't keep you much longer. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Okay. Sad man walks in 
into the dark. The thoughts were shit when we were younger. On open roads, we danced till sundown. I wonder when you're coming home.